Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for the last video of 2020 and the last journal with me in my print Prussian B6. So this is Christmas week. I'm using a kit from the Sticky Station called Joy and I do have a coupon code for the Sticky Station now. It's Mandy for 10% off in case you missed it. I'm really excited to share that one. So I'll have it linked in the description bar as always. So while I put down the date covers, I thought I'd do a little catch up. I hope you all enjoyed Plan Miss. I really enjoyed making it and I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate. I hope you're all having a safe and lovely new year. I know everything is pretty much staying the same because we're still in a pandemic, but I think there's something about the sentiment of new beginning that's always really exciting for me. So after this video, I will post my 2021 planning and journaling system. And then I believe after that one is a flip through of this planner. So I hope you're looking forward to that. And please let me know what planners you're using for 2021 as well. I'm really curious to know. Also, one more thing, if you have any video requests you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comments as well so I can add it to my list and hopefully make that for you in the coming year. All right, let's move to Monday. So this week I'm marking plan miss with this little flag that came with a kit and I cut down, it was supposed to be like a snowflake checklist, but I cut one of the snowflakes off and layered my little tree above it. For work this week, I'm using a Maru from Paper and Milk. And on Monday, my mom went out and bought some bagels. So I had a bagel and coffee for breakfast. Oh, I'm using these Munchkin fireplace, like working on the laptop flat lays from Once More With Love to Mark working on Plan Miss this week, which I thought were so cute and so perfect. And they also match really well with this kit. So I was really excited to use those. On Monday night, I made a coconut beer float. I originally wanted to make another Olipop root beer float, but we had no more Olipop. So I made a coconut beer one instead. My local brewery has this coconut IPA that they made and I thought it would be a good idea to put some ice cream in it. It wasn't as good as the Olipop root beer float though, I have to say. On Tuesday, I put a full box down first and then I'm marking work. And I really wanted to bring in these red and gold foiled bow headers from the kit. So I put that on top of the full box to break up that color a little bit. So on Monday, I had like a really slow day or like physically I felt really slow and mentally too. So I put this not moving munchkin and then I used a checklist to mark a few errands that I ran that day. And at night I used this Yay Maru because my remaining Black Friday sticker orders arrived. So I was able to finish filming the haul that went up on Christmas and start using those stickers. So the pen that I'm using this week is a Pentel Energel 0.3 in a Zebra Sarasa Airfit barrel. Oh, on Tuesday, I also ordered Blue Bottle for my sister because she was able to pick it up when she got off work. And Blue Bottle has been like my favorite coffee place as of late. They have started making their New Orleans cold brew like they made a big 20 ounce concentrate concentrate version so that you know customers can buy it and make it at home. And I've been doing that whenever my sister gets a chance to go and pick it up and it's so delicious. So you'll see me marking that on Wednesday. And I also bought some of their beans as well to make my like daily coffees. They have this one called Giant Steps, which is like the flavor profile is like s'mores and toasted marshmallow and cocoa, and it's absolutely delicious. On Wednesday, before going off for the holidays, I received some happy news from work and I used a yay munchkin to mark that. I guess like yay is my new favorite word. And there were some little gaps between some of the boxes. The snowflake didn't fit there, but I ended up pulling a floral sticker from, I believe that's from Honey Inked. The snowflake is for sure from Honey Inked and you'll see me pulling it in in various places throughout the spread. It's a bit subtle. You can see one on Tuesday there between Plan Miss Day 10 and not moving, but it is really pretty. On 
Thursday, it was Christmas Eve, I ran out of text or script stickers, so I ended up writing it in myself in this box, and I had the day off, so I definitely slept in. I used this Fox and Pip sleeping girl, and I wanted to make it a little bit more festive, so I pulled in some foiled holiday stickers from Honey Inked, as well as one of these foiled circles that came with the kit. And of course I worked on Plan Miss, so I pulled in another Munchkin scene sticker. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I wish I could use it like beyond the holiday season, even though it's totally, it totally doesn't match with any of my non Christmas kits and it would be totally weird, but they're just so cute. I wonder if Marg makes like just normal versions, like everyday versions. I'll have to check it out. And then I had to move everything up because it didn't fit. The gingerbread full box was like one of my favorite full boxes from this kit, so I didn't want to cut it down either. After I finished my Plan Miss video for Christmas Eve, I decided to stop by Boba Guys because they had this peppermint white chocolate matcha latte, and I really wanted to try it before the holiday season was over, and I thought it was the 12th day of Plan Miss. I thought it would be a great celebration treat, and also my sister had been working like four days consecutively. She's a nurse. Nurses work 12 hour shifts three times a week. I think that's like the most typical schedule that they work, but she was working overtime and she has extra long days because of her commute. So I decided it would be a nice treat for her as well. So Friday was Christmas and it was a very quiet, relaxed Christmas. We typically spend Christmas in the mountains skiing. Obviously we canceled that trip so we just spent it at home and I decided to do a self-care day. So I put down a, or sorry, I put on a cozy outfit. I put on these like festive PJs and a cozy sweater and I did like a face mask. I made New Orleans iced coffee and then I decided to get ready and like do my hair and put makeup on and I just randomly told my sister, I was like, hey, I, I'm gonna go wave my hair. And then she was like, oh, do you wanna try my Dyson Airwrap? And I was like, sure, because I've always like seen people use it and it looks really cool. So I was curious to try and I gotta say, it's really fun to use. Afterwards, we had family movie time and we watched World, sorry, I wrote down WW84. So I'm like, World War 84? but it's Wonder Woman 84, it's like Wonder Woman 2. The first one was better, but it was a nice family movie time experience. And then for dinner, we had family hot pot, which is always really fun. The hot pot sticker is from Hazel Sticker. On the weekend, I had quite a few things I wanted to mark down, like more than the space allows, so I decided to use some day extenders, and I only had one more left from Scroll Prince Co., so I cut it in half, and did like a mini day extender. So this last part is sped up faster because it was kind of a hot mess. Day extenders are always a little tough to work with for me, but I really wanted to write down all the things I wanted to do. I think it would have been easier for me to like pull the planner out to work on Saturday and Sunday, like pull it out of the Aura style cover, but I guess I was just lazy, so I didn't do that. But basically on Saturday, I had a bunch of chores that I had to do. And then of course I got sidetracked and went through all of my planner things to set up my 2021 personal rings, which I am so excited for and it's been working really well for me, so can't wait to share that. And then I ran out of those like snowflake checklists, so I decided to make one with these mini clouds or nano clouds that I made for myself. At first I wrote on the actual day extender with my symbol line because it's like this glossy type paper or like vinyl, but then I really didn't like the way that my handwriting looked for one and also the tip of the symbol line is a bit thicker than the Energel I was using, so I didn't really like that. I ended up pulling up the checklist to put them on a half box instead so that I could write on the half box, and I think because of like the paper, like the flaps on the side, it was hard for my hand to contort itself into a position to write neatly anyway, so it still ended up being sloppy. But I wanted to make sure that I wrote inside the frame, that's why I wrote on top of the planner instead of like below it. But anyway, on Sunday I basically continued working on my setup, I responded to comments, and we also had Starbucks 
for lunch. My sister ended up getting Starbucks, which is always really nice. I got the peppermint mocha, which I really think is my favorite holiday drink. And we also had Vaughn's fried chicken for lunch. Vaughn's is like a Korean fried chicken place, which is really, really yummy. It's probably my favorite fried chicken place. I'm using a Maru, or sorry, a paper and milk coffee cup to mark that. And that is about it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me for another year here on this channel. I really appreciate your support. I hope you're all taking care and having a really fantastic new year. As always, feel free to leave any thoughts and questions you have in the comments and we can continue the conversation there. I will see you in 2021. Bye everyone!